iPhone 7 Plus Taptic Engine Replacement Guide. The tools we're going to need are a proprietary pentalope screwdriver, a Phillips head double or triple zero screwdriver, either one will work, a proprietary Y screwdriver, a suction cup for prying the screen apart, also a uh, plastic triangular pick tool for separating the screen. This is an optional tool here. Uh, this will help remove the adhesive around the contour of the screen. And a plastic spudger for prying connections apart. Then also tweezers for managing screws and difficult to get to components. If the phone is on, go ahead and power it down. Near the charging port, there are two pentalope screws securing the screen to the phone case. Go ahead and remove the two pentalope screws. Go ahead and place the suction cup as close as you can to the home button. Make sure it's firmly secure and nice and tight. Now loop either your index or your middle finger through the suction cup loop. Pinch the sides of the phone with your other fingers. Make sure that you have leverage. Now pull as hard as you can on the suction cup. This will create a small crack for you to sneak the triangular pick through and go ahead and start prying it from left to right to pry the screen apart. The tension and resistance that you'll feel is going to be from the adhesive, the waterproof adhesive. You can go ahead and remove or cut away this adhesive with the metallic prying tool. You can use it in tandem with the plastic tool or just the plastic tool itself in case you don't want to risk scratching the phone. Run the tool along both sides of the phone. Pry the screen up just a little bit, no more than an inch. Remember this phone folds out like a book and not straight up. What you want to do is you want to pull it down and then flip it over like a book and you're gonna close it and then push it back in when we're done so that's how it opens up go ahead and loosen up the top uh, of the adhesive near the top of the phone now just tilt it and push it out and then open it right up just like a book and that's it we're in the Taptic engine is located right underneath the battery. Let's remove the two Phillips head screws that are securing the Taptic engine connection cover. Go ahead and remove the cover. It might be slightly glued in so it might take some prying to get it out. With that out of the way with a plastic prying tool go ahead and disconnect the ribbon cable by gently pushing up on it. Now disconnect the three Phillips head screws that are securing the Taptic engine itself to the phone. With that out of the way, go ahead and lift up the Taptic engine. Reassembly. Place the Taptic engine into its socket in the following orientation. Go ahead and secure the three Phillips head screws. Now go ahead and reconnect the Taptic engine to the phone. Make sure you get a nice solid connection on this ribbon cable. You should feel like a, something like a click. 
use the plastic tool to help you with the connection if needed. Now put the cover over the connection in the following orientation and secure it with the two Phillips head screws. And that's it. We can uh, clamp up the phone now. Go ahead and fold it up. Now at the very top, make sure you tuck that in first and the latches are in at the top. And then you can go ahead and clamp it shut. Going around the contour, making sure that it's sealed and clamped in. Once you went around the contour a few times and you feel like you have a good seal, it's time to reinstall the two pentalope screws near the charging port. You can go ahead and load the two screws into their sockets and then tighten them with the pentalope screwdriver. Now let's go ahead and power on and test the phone. Looks good. Thank you for watching. If this video helped you, please hit like and subscribe. And check out more awesome videos at AppleDollars.com.